Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to encrypt your home folder. So we're going to be doing this a little bit differently than, uh, you know, most Linux distributions uh, like Ubuntu, where they let you encrypt during the installation, and a lot of distributions that use uh, Ubuntu encryption, the Ubuntu encryption method. We're going to be using EcryptFS, and we're going to encrypt the home partition, and it's actually much easier than you think. So let's start off by installing EcryptFS Utilities. It's a tool and it allows us to get the complete set of software that we need to start the encryption. Please check the description below. As I always say, the instructions are down there. Now this is already installed for me, so I can go down and uh, now we need to create a temporary user for this. So let's do sudo s, and then let's do user add dash m encrypt admin. Now the reason we're doing a dash m is so that it will disable a home folder because we don't need one. Now we can set the password with passwd encrypt admin. Enter the new Unix password. And then we need to add it to the sudo file. And we're doing this because I don't want to add this user to groups. I just want to give it sudo access directly so that way we don't have to remove it from groups later on. So we can scroll down. And if you look, you'll see there's admin and there's sudo. So let's add, Actually, we don't need that one. We need the root one. This is a user specification. So basically just admin all equals all, all, all. Then save it. Now if we do su encrypt admin, we log into that, then we can do sudo s enter our password for this user, and we are using this user as root. So the next step is to log out. And we need to log out because we need to get out of our main user because our main user cannot be encrypted while it's in the process of running. So you need to log out, and once you log out, you need to press Control, Alt, and then F2 on your keyboard. That will open up a console prompt. All right, you should be seeing something that looks like uh, like this. Mine says Linux Mint 18, Sylvia, and then it has the login screen. We need to log in with the user that we just created, which is encryptfs, sorry, wrong, wrong command, do not enter that one, Encrypt admin. admin, and log that one in with our password. We're now logged in and it says there's no directory with home. That's okay, we wanted that. Now we just gain root with sudo s. And our user that we created now has root. We can start the ecryptfs home migration. So to do that, we would do ecryptfs migrate home-u and then our username in my case, Derek, and it will start up the encryption. My passphrase I'm going to enter. And now everything is being migrated and encrypted over. Kind of a hugely important process to let it go through and do everything because it's going to do absolutely everything. It's going to take quite a long time, especially if you have a huge hard drive. Okay, so the encryption is complete. So now we can restart our computer. We can log out of the the regular console and restart and log back into the normal machine, the normal user that we are usually using. So you wouldn't know by looking, but the home folder is now completely encrypted and uh, EcryptFS is in use and nobody can access this. The only person that can access the home folder right now is you when you log in with your user account. If somebody else on the machine goes to the home directory, they cannot access it and it has to be encrypted each time you log in. Very, very easy to do. Uh, I'm gonna go over the removing the temporary account now because we need to do that. The first thing we need to do is to log into root, do sudo s, then we need to get into the sudo or file. 
go down under user, delete our encrypt admin. So our encrypt admin no longer has user root access. It's just a normal, normal uh, account. It will not be able to use any root commands. I'm gonna show you what I mean. If I do sue, it will not work. It's just not possible. So you could leave this account the way it is and you could use it for other stuff if you need to re-encrypt other things. But I would say the best thing to do is to just get rid of the user altogether. And you do it like this with the user del command. Of course, it would help if I logged into my regular account first. That happens sometimes. <laughs> so now the user is gone. If we try to do sue, it doesn't exist. So that's how you encrypt the home folder. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.